Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rosquit. Uh, today we're going to continue our imp uh, adventure in Indivisible. Uh, if you joined us for the last episode, uh, we apparently accidentally unleashed a great evil onto this game's world, so now we have to fix that part. So... Whoa! This wind is intense! And you can't see past your hand with all the sand! I guess we can't get out this way after all. Well? Ginseng was right. The storm won't let us through. I'm sorry. <laughs> Torani, isn't there some other way out of here? Maybe. But that depends on you. We will need to awaken this power of yours. No! I mean, I'm not sure I want to. I will help you, Luke Sao. We can do it together. Torani, you're so nice! It seems our fates are linked. Good. Water wielding empath. Nice. Attack and down. So. Huh. So, what do I do? You must meditate. Focus. Let go. Feel the strength flowing from your core, out through each limb and beyond. Feel your life force flow from your heart and through your veins. From your chest, to your arms, to your fingertips. From your center, to your legs and toes. <sighs> The energy within you is augmented by your experience, by the people you know. The power of the world binds this energy within. Concentrate. Oops. And let go. Whoa. an ogre girl. You've done it. Ah, I can't hold it for long. You'll get better with time. Even if it's for a short while, you can use this power to dash into the wind. Interesting. All right, so let's have the other one. I like the other two. Let's try Be you. No on the team. And what's your specialty? So you seem to be a lot like Ginseng, only a little faster and with a little more HP. Okay. Right, we're going to try you out though. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and save. Oh, oh wow. Okay, rocks aren't a problem. Whoa, it worked! It's not as scary as I thought! Maybe for you. Scared, huh? That's not... That, that's not what I mean. <laughs> now that we're out, I suggest we head to Port Marifa. You should stick with Ajna until then. I suppose we have no choice. Right. Once you can get to the port, you can decide whether you'll help Ajna along her journey or leave her to die like common beasts. Wow. Uh, don't worry about it, Zebe. You don't have to stay. I'll get us out of here first. So cool. There we go. Okay. Pretty cactus, actually. Uh. 
else that I need to know. I need a running start. And now. Safe point. Okay, we're just gonna continue. Okay. She's a good healer, though, so that's great. Okay. Mm. So? What's bothering you? Oops. I guess you can tell what I'm thinking, huh? I can certainly tell what you're feeling. Maybe it will help to talk about it. I don't know. I just feel weird. Why did I get this power, and I'm basically holding all these people hostage inside my brain? I'm not their chief or leader or anything like that. I'm just someone who happened to... absorb them. I just wanted to avenge my dad, and now everything's all strange. You feel shame because of the death of your father, guilt for your role in breaking Kala's seal, and fear because of your growing power. But all growth is painful, Ajna. What if this growth gets everyone killed? Hmm. If Kala has indeed awakened... Because of me. Because of you, perhaps. But if she has awakened, someone will have to stop her. And far from getting everyone killed, your new strength might be the only thing that can save everyone. Ugh, that's so much pressure! The world won't end if I just... go home, will it? I can't say. We need to learn more about Kala's awakening. Then you can make that choice. How did I get into this situation? Making life or death choices for other people. You may not want to be a leader, but power attracts power, for better or for worse. You can use that power, or you can let it use you. That is your choice, Luxal. Makes a very good therapist. What's going on? So far this team's doing okay. Oh 
my goodness, come on. Okay, I need Ajna up. There we go. I'm still trying to figure her out. Hold on. Throwing his attack and down leave small puddles on the battlefield. Activating... Nope, we'll activate all puddles on the battlefield. Oh, so they have to move. Okay. So these things are kind of annoying because they kind of are similar to the soldiers. And there's just a lot more of them. Okay, so there's puddles everywhere. Okay, so I see there's puddles everywhere then. Kind of under figuring out how she works. Good, found another one. So I need another four for my next upgrade. Shit. Ah, dang it. Okay, so I need to. There we go. All right, yeah, I don't think there's anything to the right. Strike before they do. Down we go. Nailed it. Nice try. So they attack in packs. Kind of see how she works. There's an exploding wall over there. What is this? Ah, 
Oh, kept me up there. All right. So let us go ahead and cut this one here. Uh, that was a decent uh, journey through the desert, excuse me. We have a new teammate who has a little bit of an awkward fighting style, but she has really good healing abilities once, I, once you figure it out. And uh, we're going to continue this in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, with everything going on right now, just please remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, we will continue the journey next time. So see you later, everyone.